All right. Hello, candidates. My name is Nomad7. I am your host, your mission handler, and friend here on the channel. Uh, for those of you that do not know me, uh, I do stream on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash nomad underscore seven. Uh, and everything that I do from recording to streaming, uh, I do this so that I can support my efforts in the fight against child sex trafficking uh, by spreading awareness, education, and bringing the community together uh, to ensure that they are ready uh, when the time comes to uh, fight back. Uh, but I am also a volunteer team leader with a nonprofit organization called Operation Underground Railroad. I've learned a lot under them. I've learned a lot uh, through my work with them, and I hope to continue to support them and grow uh, from them as well. So that being said, if you would like to support me, please consider becoming a Patreon or following and sharing my Twitch channel uh, or, again, following and subscribing onto my YouTube. Anything that uh, you do... Uh, will help this cause out a lot. If you'd like to donate directly, please let me know. Um, if you would like to donate directly to OUR, go to OURrescue.org and donate there. They also have merch that they sell that you can buy there. Uh, everything goes to a great cause and a good effort and the good of the fight. So that being said, thank you all, and I hope you enjoy. Straight to it. Here we have a 4v4 uh, on KOTU. Access has... Uh, 610, Dein Rainer Ernst, and another Chinese player, and Lava, with my side on the allied, Maktabel, Sevs, which is myself, Golden Darkness, and Heart Pain. Solid players, and you're going to see a very solid game, and here's why. I've got the extended view here, uh, so you're going to see a lot of good fights, and I hope you enjoy. So, uh, standard opening here, like chess, um, rush towards North Bridge, block that off. And, of course, the Stern Pios will, with their effectiveness in close quarters, uh, rush towards Fuel to chase these guys off. However, the infantry section, as British, get a bonus for being in green cover, as you see a sword and shield. They get better survivability, as well as rate of fire with their... Uh, rifles. Here comes Rifleman to support. And this will do extra damage even though they are in green cover. Uh, that much fire from incoming will hurt them a lot. There they go. They draw fire away from there. South Fuel is also an important point here. We've got double Vickers from Golden and Heart Paid. Uh, they were not able to secure an MG into the house yet. Uh, so they are pushed out of that location. Uh, we've got an MG-42 pushing up here. Looks like Nava chose Assault Grenz. Very good at flanking with their ability to sprint as well as uh, Grenade Assault where all their models, five of them in total, I believe they can be upgraded to six. Yes, they can. Uh, and they all throw six grenades. It's very devastating for densely compacted or densely grouped uh, units. Uh, I would not have placed a light vehicle that far forward or for that long uh, with an MG-42 there. It is effective against light vehicle, uh, especially when they have their incendiary armor piercing rounds on. It melts light vehicles. You gotta be very careful with that. MG, or Vickers rather, is facing this squad here these squads here because there is no coverage on middle um, if you put like a bunker here or another mg to face this you'll at least delay the advance you won't be able to cover this much but you'll at least delay the advance through the middle course here rifleman in green cover uh doing work getting its extra accuracy uh bonuses for uh stationary plus green cover good enough Infantry section going to work. Low health on each model uh, as they slowly get Shrek or, well, wrecked rather. Uh, flame grenade goes out, hits the Vickers. No model loss yet, but burning, and they will drop a model eventually. No, they're fine. 
And here, let's see, we've got sandbags to support the MG42, gives the, them and the crew good coverage. Uh, we've got Royal Engineers on the flank to keep from Assault Grens uh, flanking their Vickers here. Good enough coverage. We've got infantry section that upgraded to pyrotechnic supplies, which will allow them to throw uh, already smoke markers here. We've got mortars coming in. Let's see from uh, the Chinese player as well as Lava coming in with their mortars. Uh, looks like the Chinese player chose double mortars. Considering that there's double British, it's a good enough play. Only because British tend to do Sim City, which is establish uh, different establishments uh, or you know buildings uh, to hold points. It's it's rather effective if you know what to do and how to play it. They were able to uh, save the UC the UVC rather. Um, it was decrewed earlier. But it didn't take too much to recrew it. I think it only took one model, to be honest. Uh, they've got to be careful about the flank. No one secured this flank with an MG or a bunker or anything. So you're going to have these Panzer Fusiliers, uh, who has not up have not upgraded yet uh, to either the Panzer Shreks or the Recon Package. you got to be careful for the G43 rifle squads. They will shred at medium to long distance. Um, and Panzer Shreks still, though they're not the most effective with them, they still do uh, enough damage if you let them. So the Royal Engineers have to stop their mortar pit build because of this. Uh, the UVC has to turn, the MG has to either displace or uh, evacuate, but it, with this pathing, it doesn't look like they're going to make it, uh, as we will see it drop. Yep, they are gone. Double mortar is also assaulting. No f guards on the flank here. Assault grenades coming in. There's the grenade spam that I talked about with the assault grenades. Uh, they missed their target mostly, but if if it were any other situation, they it would have done a lot of damage here. Uh, infantry section tries to help on the flank. However, even though it says green cover, it's only on the face of where the cover is pointing to. Uh, it will not help if your back is exposed and they flank around the cover. So it's kind of basic right there. Uh, sniper retreats, of course, because it's not good for close range at all. Very squishy close range. Uh, let's see. Lieutenant and double infantry, which is good enough for a front. However, you know, it's a smarter play just to soft retreat it back to the point if you're not in any hurry. Stewart is in the play now, ready to come out. Uh, recruiting the mortar here. Don't know how that died, but I can assume probably uh, infantry push of some sort. And we're just scouting out here. They know that there's a battle group here. If you check the fog of war, let's see. No, it doesn't look like it. It got revealed, but they do know that there's a uh, Luke's here. To take it. Vickers going to work, trying to suppress. Stewart on the side, focused down on the Kubel. Kubel's down, and there is the League, rather, not the Luke's. Assault Grants taking the point, MG to reinforce. We've got a 2 2 2. Doesn't do suppression, but it does. Uh, work well against light vehicles for the most part and infantry. Uh, we also have the half track here. It comes with a stable uh, MG32 and allows for a more stable covered platform for uh, squads that are inside it. Honestly, that half track could be really uh, useful if they save it uh, like any other unit, but uh, it's just really how you play with it. Stewart takes a hit from Stern Pioneer Squad equipped with a Panzer Shrek. It's only one, but still one is just enough to get it, you know, pushed back. 
and sent for repairs. And any unit that's off the front line is any unit that can uh, easily, easily be back in the fight uh, if they play it smarter. So double grenades are thrown, double misses here. Uh, M20 is taking a hit from the Raket Warfare here with the extremely long range here. Uh, they say it's a narrow-ish coat of arc, but uh, I don't believe it. <laughs> I think it's OP as anything, especially you bust out three of these. They're, you're they're going to tear up a medium tank in any sense. Bunker going down as a retreat source here because if that MG is pushed away, then they're going to need a way to hold fuel point for a little longer. But allies are in control of the fuel. Double fuel income is very good uh, for the allies. They'll get to push out either more light vehicles or upgrade quicker, tech quicker, as it were. Sniper's got to be careful. That mortar hit could have been extremely deadly. Uh, Vickers going to work here. Uh, they do not activate take aim. It's only one squad, so that's fine. Bofors is here to hold the fuel point. However, when they know that it's there, they have plenty of indirects, such as mortars, leagues, that they can care call in, and it'll be as good as gone. AEC and Bofor work together to take down the 222. A shame that because 222 honestly has a broken amount of range when it, uh, or sight range rather, when it's upgraded or vetted rather. Royal Engineers went to go to repair the AEC but have to deal with these first. Panzer Grenadiers, okay, it pops smoke. AEC pops smokes and gets the heck out of Dodge there. Good enough. MG is not placed. Vickers is not placed. Bofors doing some work. MG is taking hits from mortars. Mortars is not moving anywhere. They're going to take some hits. Infantry section pushing on uh, the axis at munitions point, rather. North side sniper is getting to work still. Panzer Fusiliers get a hit from a grenade. Uh, no model drops on squad two and three. Squad one is down to three models. Uh, rear echelon and lieutenant holding the left flank of the fuel point, uh, but the bridge is secure, so there will be no flanking on that maneuver, and it will be rather obvious when they try because they have to first uh, either detonate or concentrate fire with tanks uh, or AT guns on these things, and you have to secure that flank if you are not going to do for a super aggressive push. Southwise, it looks like there's a little bit of a lull here. Everyone's just recuperating their their damage and losses here. They're recapturing their munitions point. Panzer Grenadiers. Let's see. This is the Chinese players. He has enough to tech up to Panzer uh, to Panzer Shreks. I don't know why he doesn't. It's better if you use the Panzer Shrek teams. Uh, like this one here by La Lava, rather. It'll be good for pushing off or completely wiping out damaged light vehicles here. There we go. See, the MG42 activated its incendiary armor piercing and it just tore up the UVC on retreat. It's also doing a significant amount of damage on the emplacement here. Again, it is an emplacement. It doesn't move. It has no dodge stats. So, but it does have a good amount of reach here. Bofor wiped out the squad. It got recruited by the Panzer Grenadiers. You got to be careful on what you replace your crews with, because when you come back to replace it, they will replace it as the model that filled in for the crew. So that's going to be a little bit of expense here. It's 34 manpower. Uh, so, again, you've got to be really careful with who you replace it with. So, they're fighting down here. Double mortar, or triple mortar, double MGs. Looks like Artie's coming down, pushing away all the stationary, except for this one. 
Mctobble grabs the mid VP here and let's see where I went. I disappeared completely. Yeah, here we go. Everything was badly damaged here. Uh, where's my... Built a fuel cache. When you have the manpower like McTobble does or Lava, it's best if you can spare 250 to but uh, to create rather uh, a fuel or ammo cache. The usual build is two fuel, two fuel, three uh, munitions, but so it depends on the situation, really. If you're low on uh, fuel points like this one and this one, then yeah, fuel caches will save your butt. Um, if you don't, if you let your uh, light vehicles pay itself off, higher veterancy, more kills, more range, overall best tactic that you can do there with light vehicles. Uh, I do incidentally destroy my own uh, fighting position, which is unfortunate here. Uh, a stray round does hit a Panzer Fusilier squad. No models drop yet. Uh, they are in yellow cover uh, when they're over in these craters created by mortars or grenades. So you've got to uh, concentrate hard on that. Sherman comes into play here. Uh, drives off the MG. Actually, I blocked the MG, which is unfortunate. Uh, I was trying to save the fusilier, save it from the fusiliers, uh, which they are driven off. However, a little too late. Southwise, uh, the Allies have definitely made a steady improvement. They now hold the VP point. They've pushed up the Vickers. They lost their Bofors. They still have their mortar emplacement at Vet 3, where Vet 1 reduces the cooldown. Vet 2 gets experience crews, which reduces time between barrages. And Veteran C3 better prepares the emplacement into a stronger defensive position. So if you use Brace Structure, they're going to last a little bit longer under duress. Not forever. And especially not under concentrated fire, but they will last a little longer for you to get your butt in gear or tell your friends to rescue it. McTobble Sniper has Veteran C1 with 13 infantry kills. You keep vetting that up, it becomes a very dangerous and deadly uh, force on the field. Rangers with Thompsons will be shredding units close range. However, Fusiliers are just as effective from medium and short range, especially with uh, their double FG-10 rifles here. Automatic fire with scopes. They can work middle to long to short. Stuart goes in, tries to chase them off. Uh, you got to be careful though, Fusiliers do have anti-tank rifle grenades. If they spam that with enough munitions, one will hurt, two may or may not uh, cripple it, three will definitely hurt extra uh, and guarantee uh, cripple. Double Shrek, Triple Shreks, you'll see this uh, Sherman Husk here. They fell to these sh uh, Shreks here. I didn't learn my lesson. And pushed up again, almost losing the, this Vet 2 Stewart. Uh, normally, I would say a Vet 2 is good enough if you trade off units, um, such as a Vet 2 wiping two squads or a Vet 2 uh, wiping a Vet 3 and then trading off. That's typically a better trade, but if you lose it without any trades, it's not typically good. Uh, middle VP, infantry section tries to chase off these assault grands they are low on health but there are four models which survive uh just long enough long enough to capture the vp mg on the retreat just to keep them safe we've got a trench on south two trenches on south this will provide uh restricted movements for armored vehicles uh, 
It'll also give cover for MGs if they decide to jump into them. Typically they won't because you grenade it, you flame it, it's gonna hurt. We've got the AEC still alive. You have Cromwell with the binoculars here. And Churchill AVRE is the uh, Sturm Tiger equivalent, I would like to say. Let's see what it. Ooh. Panzer IV coming out for 610 here. AVRE does not have anti tank capabilities. Uh, it blows up the wall, which instead would have uh, rocked this P4's world. Uh, but it did give it a stun. So it will go for the. There we go. The way that this tank, this church, or sorry, yeah, this Churchill goes for the, the backside to cut off the retreat will block the model temporarily, which will give this more time to make the assault. Infantry section equipped with Brens now. Uh, getting assaulted by the League though. It's now Vet 2 with 10 kills. Uh, gets pushed off. Stewart coming in with a M8A1 howitzer mortar carriage. Barrage is the point, trying to hit the tiny models of these two. Uh, looks like a squad wipe from Churchill AVRE. Two Raquette Werfers will kill the Stewart. How unfortunate. Uh, the Riflemen are now equipped with grenade packages. They can throw grenades at the cost of 30 munitions. Effective, the higher veterancy that you get for riflemen, uh, but at the very least, they will damage uh, dense squads of units. Axis has built their uh, fuel, so they've got triple fuel. Fuel stashes at least. Luke does a little uh, friendly fire damage there, but nothing too crazy. Second Sherman switching from AP to HE and boom just like that at least four models drop to the HE Another two more drop or one more rather the Raquette Werfer getting to work here He's got ample targets uh, But that fog of war Saves the uh, Sexton from being Raquetted AVRE coming back to work here. We've got land mattresses uh, lighting this up. So they lose two Raquette Werfers and an MG. I think a mortar squad as well. I'm not sure what just came down here. Let's not hold the line, but it is an allied. Interesting. Okay. So, looks like another leak went down. The Raquette Warfare still there. The mortar carriage, if it fires, it will be revealed and that will be a target for the Raquette Warfare. Panther in the field for Nava here. Rangers and riflemen uh, trying to engage the infantry. Riflemen can uh, rifle nade it. Anti-tank rifle laid the Panther. However, it will only do damage and not snare or cripple the uh, the tank. So Sherman coming in, not the smartest play, especially with the Raquette Warfare still in play here. The six pounder is coming up to support the front line to at least hold back the Panther. Looks like a triple triple Fusiliers all hailed up. With their uh, Gewehr 43s. So they will do extremely dangerous damage at long range. Uh, and we've got the Volksgrenadiers. Vet 5 Volksgrenadiers with 18 kills. Which will increase their survivability. And 
of uh, their overall effectiveness. Uh, Vet 2 Mortar does go down. Fusilier Blob is just going to town here. Sherman switches to HE. And it looks like a concentration of the Royal Engineers, Rangers, and Riflemen do drive the squads out. We still have the North VP, South VP. Both, uh, no, forget that. Only the South Fuel Point, however, with one extra fuel cache. Yes, that looks to be the case. Vickers is going to work on the middle. However, there is a MG bunker also going to work, uh, which does not require any manpower. Well, sorry, any recruitable manpower. Only needs time for repairs, but it does go down as the Vickers continue to barrage and kill the assault grenadiers. Riflemen, Vet 3, even though they do increase their durability um, with that veterancy, it still will not survive against these Panzer Fusiliers with their upgrade packages. Rangers throwing a grenade right behind the Volksgrenadiers, wipes the cover, drops two models, I believe, and goes in for the kill because they're not paying attention and they do lose the squad of a Vet 5 Volks Grenadier. Oh, concentrated barrage plus assault from the Churchill. Uh, Mark III does get um, get the kill on the Raket Warfare. Looks like a Bofer and a 17 pounder in the play. Smoke dropped to cover the vision. Uh, and it looks like it drove away the Tiger B down all the way down to the oh what a solid hit solid hit earns them a veterancy solid hit kills a panther this bofer is still up this trench is also up just in case this goes down they were not able to concentrate on repairs let's see where they are they're healing right now okay We've got a Jackson motor carriage and a Sherman that's not too wounded, but still, if if it's below 10%, I believe, uh, they are uh, near guaranteed to be snared. And once you're snared, a slow tank is a dead tank. So you've got to be careful. Motor carriage without vision from infantry will not be effective, uh, or as effective, rather, at hitting targets. You've got to be careful. Uh, when you are repairing your vehicles to keep an eye on where they are. Jacksons do not have as big of a sight range. Yes, they have the overall target range. They do not have the sight range for um, engagement. Mortar carriage. It is around like 5, 8%, but it will get whittled down. There it is. There's the Faust, or rather the uh, anti-tank, anti-rifle grenade. Yeah, anti-tank rifle grenade, which does snare it, but it is saved by the Sherman who switches to HE and drives back the, uh, the Fusiliers. They will all retreat uh, so that they can heal up and replace their manpower. Tiger B coming into the middle here, straight up the middle. Royal Engineers are their only front line. I think they're equipped with... I don't think those are Brens, but they are... Ah, uh, right. They do have flamethrowers. And they are equipped with a Vickers K light machine gun. Okay, that's what they're equipped with. They quickly build another quarter pounder, which will help in the fight against this Tiger B should it switch back down south the middle. Rangers gotta be careful, gotta get out of there or you're gonna lose it. Very effective. Stern Pioneer, uh, it's a misconception most of the times that if you, they have a Shrex, they're not good at close quarters. It's very wrong to assume that they have only one Shrek and three close quarter units. Rangers coming in to give vision here. 
This could be it now. Triple capped. Their VPs are very low here. Main cannon is dead. Looks like... That's it. Ah, that's what killed it. It already killed it, I believe. And that's it. That's the end of the game. Thank you, everyone, for watching this game. Again, my name is Nomad7. I am the host and the mission handler for this channel. Uh, if you like what you saw, if you like everything about this, uh, please, again, follow, subscribe, share, leave a comment wherever you find this video. And uh, give me some feedback. I'd love to hear from you. And also, my Discord is open. Again, my Discord is open. So you should follow the links um, that will lead you to it. Or you can message me directly. I will give the link to the Discord there. I'm always looking for people that want to play games, the same games as I do, uh, share new games, or just grow as a community. I love making new friends and ensuring that the message gets out there. So just an FYI, the Discord is for mature audiences, uh, but it is up to your discretion to join. So that being said, GG's, Axis, great job, allied players. Uh, we did really well on that front. Until next time, take care. And remember, don't leave it a chance, leave it to us. Nomad7, signing off.